Good morning, it's Friday. I'm just about to head down to the gym and I thought I would jump on and record because this morning I've set myself a goal. I am not a runner. I hate running, but when I started my healthy journey last April, we were in lockdown back home and the only thing you were allowed to do at the height of the pandemic was to go out and do exercise for an hour during the day. I would say I'm not a good consistent runner. I'm not naturally good at running. So for me, the only way that I can cover a distance is to sprint fast, run out of breath, stop, catch my breath and sprint fast again until I've like finished the distance. And so as soon as we moved over here and we got a gym, I was like, great, I'm never doing cardio again. I'm all about the weights and I do love weights and I see the benefit of them, but I think cardio is just good as well to like maintain your level of fitness. So for the last couple of weeks, I've been hitting a bit of cardio. So Stuart came with me to the gym this week and I was able to do half an hour on the treadmill. And he was like, you were running pretty well there. But I thought that the treadmill was measured in kilometers. So I was like, I've almost regressed compared to last year because I'm covering three kilometers in like 32 minutes. And Stuart said, no, the treadmill measures in miles. So you're actually covering three miles in about 32 minutes, which is the equivalent of a 5K. So that has like really boosted me to say, I'm not that far off hitting a 5K in under 30 minutes. And I know that that would do so much for just my willpower and my confidence. And as much as I'm dreading it, I'm actually really excited to try. So I'm going to go and do it now and uh, let's see what happens. And hopefully I'll have some good news to share with you in a little bit. I didn't do it. I managed three kilometers in 17 minutes, 52 seconds. So I was definitely on track, but I just pushed myself too much today. And I thought that my willpower would get me through, but my willpower has let me down again. Oh, um, yeah, I just, I, have been running at a pace of 5.5 and I upped it to 6.2 today and it was just too much, like 0.7 more of the speed just knocked me out. So my chest was like properly throbbing there, but I'm really disappointed. I have paused it so I could go back on and try and do the rest of it, but I feel like that would be so disingenuous. I'm gonna do that because right now I'm not in a good mood so i feel like at least if i can run 5k today even if i needed a break in the middle it's still better than nothing we are our own worst critics aren't we right let's go do the rest of it <laughs> So I'm gonna hang out with Alden and Kat. I met them online at the start of January where we did like a virtual course together. I saw them on Saturday at a little brunch that we all had to kind of finish the course off. And we were like, we have to go for dinner. So we're going to Fonda, which is a Mexican restaurant and they have the best rose frozen margaritas. And as with all of the amazing girls that I've met in New York, they have the most incredible jobs. Alden works for French Connection here in the city and Kat is creating her own beauty line. Really excited to hang out with them tonight.
this is it. Last time we'll be making this journey to get my second vaccine and then we're done. Good news. Yep. <laughs> I'm gone. Yes. This is so good. Um, so Stuart and I decided to just come down to Chelsea Market after I got my vaccine, just for like a quick dinner. Um, so we went to a place called, I think it's called Mock Bar, which is like Korean food. And I got a dish called bulgo bul Bulgogi, which is like the most delicious, like stir fried salted beef. And I got it with rice and carrots and spring onions. Stuart got katsu chicken but they didn't give him the like katsu curry sauce so he's away to try and get that and we got some kimchi fries as if we didn't have enough food we got kimchi fries to try as well and then our plan for this evening is to watch the latest episode of Line of Duty which if you're back home you'll know all about that but it is like the latest current police drama in Northern Ireland it is so good so that's our plans for the weekend all done thanks for watching this vlog and i'll see you next time